Hello and welcome to the Edges of Earth. My name is Brock. Today I'm in Albania and I want to give you a room tour of my apartment. It is $301.98 per month. So follow me and I'm going to show you around. So here is the official bathroom. I actually turned the light on five minutes ago. This is the first time I've been in here. I have not even I have not even been in here. I have two bathrooms, by the way. As you can see, we have a Western style toilet, a sink, an empty trash bin, and a shower without a curtain. But the whole bathroom is a wet bathroom, is what they call it. So if any water goes anywhere else besides the shower, it's not a problem. It goes on the floor and then there's a drain on the floor that allows all the water to go down. So now we're gonna walk down the hallway. It's a pretty long hallway. It's actually a, a rather large place. I was looking for a smaller place, but I couldn't find one. So this is, uh, this is the smallest I could find. So the next stop is the bathroom. You can hear the fan going. The floor is wet because I just took a shower and I just cleaned the floor, so the floor is wet. So it's also a wet bathroom just like the previous one. In here we have a sink, we have the shower with the shower curtain, and we have another western style toilet. We have a clothes hamster, hamster, ham, hamper? Clothes hamper? Is that what we call those things? It's been a while. A container for the dirty clothes. We also have a hot water machine, which the switch is on the outside. And then we have my little portable shaving kit, I guess you could call it, with all kinds of things inside. And the last thing is this little device right here. Can you guess what this is? I've seen it in many of the photos of bathrooms while I was searching online, renting a room in Albania, and I literally couldn't figure out what this thing was. The closest thing I could think of was, well, because there is a stand-up shower and not a bathtub, in case someone wanted to wash their hair in the morning, they would be able to bend down and just simply wash their hair. Seems to be the logical answer. Until I figured out that it definitely wasn't. It was actually a bidet. Wait, what? You're supposed to actually use the western toilet, then squat down and take care of the back end. It's definitely not for your hair. There's also like a little space here on the side. I'm not really sure what it is. It's like a little mini area, mini office. I don't even know what to do there. So sometimes I just sit in the chair and spin and like stare at the wall. So just across the hallway, we have a spare bedroom. I have not been in here either. Looks like there's a cabinet for your clothing. There are two twin size beds, a wooden floor, and your own personal window behind me, as well as a nightstand with a lamp. They also give you a nice pair of slippers next to the bathroom, but I haven't used them yet. Now we have entered my bedroom, the master bedroom, I guess. It is a larger bed, queen size maybe, I'm not sure. It comes with a heater because uh, in the winter it gets pretty cold here and they don't have like uh, heating like we do in the West that's built into the walls of the house. Here you have like a personal space heater that you just kind of put next to the bed, which then heats the room. The bed is really comfortable, by the way. I have slept here for a about a week now and yeah, it feels amazing compared to my previous room in a different country, so this is great. I have a cabinet where I keep my uh, clothing in. As you can see, I don't, I don't really have a lot of clothing. It's difficult to travel with too much clothing, so I only have just a few shirts. I don't even know how many, I've never counted them yet, but not very many. My two bags down below, and then a few of my electronics on the other side just to, to keep them out of the way. There's also a painting of Picasso on the wall, and if you walk past that, you will see that there is a uh, a balcony outside, which I've never been out here either. I actually have two balconies. Eh, balcony. So basically now we're going to go to the last place, which is the kitchen living room combined. It's the place where I, I, I guess I spend the majority of my time. I spend the majority of my time right there on that couch. Now, there's another heater in the back corner that I don't use. I usually use the heater right here. It does get a little bit cold in here, especially the floors, whether I wear socks or not. My feet get really cold, so I usually keep the heater going the majority of the time I'm in the room. Yeah, so it's pretty spacious. I have a very large kitchen. I don't have very many things, but everything is included, like pots and pans. I don't do a lot of cooking, basically simple things. I boil water to make tea, to make coffee, and that's about it, but everything is included. Pots, pans, cups, plates, silverware, that's all here. It comes with a kitchen table, very small, but Plenty for me, being one person. A little mini refrigerator down below. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the kitchen. Living room, we have the big rug. We have the, I don't know, the table, the couch. Oh my God, I think it pulls out. I see like a handle down below. It might actually pull out, I'm not sure. I haven't tried. TV, haven't even tried to see if it works yet. And there's three remotes, uh, I'm not sure why. A clock that doesn't work. 
and internet, which is super fast here. Every time I've done a test, on average, it shows about 40 megabytes per second, and then upload is 149 megabytes a second. That's like incredibly crazy. So it's, it's pretty quick. Power does go out every once in a while. Like every two days, there's like a brief power cut if there's a thunderstorm or just random. And the same thing with the internet. I've had the internet just randomly go out, and then so you turn on your mobile internet, your SIM card internet, that's out also. It's like it's like the country shuts down for a couple moments. It's really weird. 99% of the time, everything is up. On the table, I have my uh, laptop going right now. I'm still uploading to my cloud. It has been a year and a half since I've uploaded all of my stuff to a cloud. I haven't had access to high-speed internet for such a long time, so I'm so happy everything is finally uploading. And I also have a balcony outside. There's another balcony. I don't really go out here much. Uh, but it's nice. I put my clothes out on a chair in the sunlight. That's basically the only way I dry my clothes. So that's it. That's my room tour. It's a very short video. I just want to give you an idea of what it's like to rent an apartment here in Albania for about 300 bucks. Just because I'll be in this room for a while, I won't tell you exactly which city I'm in, but I can tell you that I'm in the southeastern area of the country, and I'll be here for a while, so I don't really want to give my exact location just yet. Literally, I've been here for a week. I've been working on various projects, and I had things to do. So I have not even explored anything. I haven't gone further than like the grocery store just outside. By the way, I'm located next to everything, so it's super convenient. It's about a one and a half minute walk from my door to the grocery store's door, like not even kidding. But I don't know anything about the culture. I don't know anything about the people. I don't know anything about the landscape other than I see mountains off in the distance. I know nothing about this country. Hopefully in the next few days or few weeks, I'll be able to explore a little bit more than what I have been. So that's it, I'll let you go. Thank you all for watching. Remember, your time is running out. Start living, take care. Oh my God, I'm old. I can't stand like this much longer.